It's been nearly 60 years since Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech, and now a new children's book aims to connect his words to a new generation. The book is called Echo in the Distance. The author is Shayla Michelle Reeves, and this is she reading from the book. Suddenly, thunder splits the skies, ripping hearts, persecuting lives, splitting the evil, dismembering the lies, devouring ignorance and passionate cries, engulfing injustice entangled in time, swallowing fear in fragile minds, digesting change, desegregating the times. People are people, not color-coded crimes. I love that line in the book. Shayla Michelle Reeves wrote those words 20 years ago in a college writing competition that she won, by the way. Thank you very much. Now she's an Emmy Award winning anchor and reporter at our CBS station. That's WCCO in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Shayla, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank w you for having me. Well, I'm glad you're here. WCCO rejected me back in the day. I still have that rejection letter. <laughs> Dear Gail, we wish you luck in your career, but unfortunately, blah, 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 well, Gail, blah. So I'm you glad you're here. You are I am, I am here. glad you're here. But let's talk about when you wrote that. Um, yes. You wrote that 20 years ago. You were a freshman in college. Yes. What were you thinking at the time? Surely you weren't thinking one day this is going to be a book. What were your no. thoughts? No. At the time, I was actually a freshman entering a writing competition at Northwestern University. They had a written expression competition for MLK, and the winner of that contest would have a chance to perform in 2003. So I ended up winning that competition, right. performed my piece in 2003, um, and at the time, I just was writing what I hoped would be an exceptional spoken word piece. Mm. Um, and it was an honor to perform that piece for the university. Mm -hmm. I received invitations to also perform it at uh, DePaul University, as well as a Safer Foundation in Harvey, Illinois. But like anything that you don't do more with, it collects dust over time. Right. It's true. But I always had in the back of my mind, this would be such a great illustrated book. Yeah. Um, but I just never did more with it, and I didn't have the resources as a college freshman to do more with it. And then you did more with it. How did you find an illustrator? Well, Instagram. We're Instagram in the age of Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, after hearing me talk about it for a long time, my husband said, you know what, for your Christmas gift, uh, a couple of years ago he said, I'm going to make this your gift, like paying for you to bring this into the world because you've been talking about it for so oh, long. That's sweet. What a I, nice yeah. husband, right? <laughs> yeah. So I had to do all the research into the illustrator and finding the publisher and all of that. And good old Instagram Good old through. Instagram. Um, I was on Instagram and uh, someone who had interviewed her name is Audra Robinson with an awesome product, Rocky Robinson Self Care for Girls, standing right next to Capricia Ambers, mm -hmm. the illustrator for my book. And I said, I wonder who this person is. Clicked right on this picture and all these beautiful illustrations. And now the two of you have got a wonderful combo. Yes. But I like, let's talk about the imagery in your book because yes. you like, you make Martin Luther King like a superhero. Yes. What is the message you were sending there? Yes, so the image I think that connects with people the most, it goes with the line, people are people, not color-coated crimes. Which means what? Yes, so that line, what I really wanted people to take away is just because of the color of someone's skin, it doesn't mean that they have um, criminal intent or nefarious yeah. motives. It's, it's because of the color of their skin it doesn't mean that there's something bad or, or terrible on the inside. It's appealing to people to see the humanity of mm. other people. Mm -hmm. And so the superhero character, um, I'm not even someone who was connected to superheroes and really attached to that growing up, but I woke up in the middle of the night and I said, that's what needs to go with that line. Mm. Um, and when you think of superheroes or Superman, he's fair, he's confident, he's compassionate, right. um, he's considerate. Um, but there's something about that particular character that connects all kinds of yeah. people. No matter what people look like, they connect with that particular character. Mm -hmm. And there's something about him, no matter the race of people, they connect with him. And race is the issue that keeps people divided. It's true. And so I said, what if you take this character that is able to transcend this issue that gets mm -hmm. people stuck, give him a little bit more color, and then 
Instead of the S, you put a heart on his chest. Yeah, and voila, echo yeah. in the distance. And yeah. there you have it. And and you've been connecting with kids at schools. Yes. Uh, what's it been like speaking in front of that audience? Mm. It's been really amazing. Kids have some incredible questions. And I think and they're the, honest. They are very honest. Yes. And I think one of the things that's been really interesting about that is they're not only interested in the book, but they're showing me that they're interested in how I occupy space. Mm. And they're showing me that it's not only interesting for them to see me as a journalist, as a writer, um, but how they too can occupy space in the world. That it's important for them to see somebody that can be on television, somebody that can write a book, somebody that can illustrate a book. Right. All the things that they can be in the world, mm -hmm. standing in front of them and then telling them that they can do that too. That's well, right. I think that's valuable and important. And so I think that's important to be in classrooms and showing them who and how they can exist in the well, world as well. Amazing. Well, we'll just say this to you, Shayla Michelle Reeves, <laughs> now author. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Something right. tells me this is not going to be your last book. Oh, it's not. Something I've already got two gonna... more. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. It's not going to be your last okay. book. Yes. We're find it. Yes. Yes. So the name of your your first book is called Echo yes. in the Distance. It's on sale now wherever you like to buy your books. Thank Congrats. you.